Hello everyone, you're welcome to the show. Today we have in the studio an erudite professor of Ponzinomics, Professor Victor Okokobioko. He is going to be answering questions regarding Ponzi schemes. You're welcome to the show, Professor Victor Okokobioko. Thank you for having me, MC Tatafo. It's always a pleasure coming on your show. Viewers at home, I'm glad to be on your screen. Thank you so much. Professor Okokobioko, in the past few years, Nigeria has witnessed a massive influx of Ponzi schemes. The question on the lips of Nigerians is, why do all these Ponzi schemes come to Nigeria to launch or to spread? Then another question is, why do they always have a connection with Dubai? Because most of these Ponzi schemes either have their launching in Dubai or Nigeria, or they have their top leaders going on vacation to Dubai, or they have their CEO resident or based in Dubai. Either ways, they always operate from Dubai, then spread to Nigeria. What is the connection between Nigeria and Dubai regarding Ponzi schemes? Well, thank you for that question. Okay, Dubai in the past has been considered the crime capital of the world. Yes, uh, if crime was a human being and was a man, then Dubai would probably be its bride. Now, there are two main reasons why scammers love to run to Dubai. Okay, there are two main reasons. Reason number one is a lack of extradition treaties. And two, reason number two, there is no regulation for MLM-related fraud. Uh, Dubai is part of the United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates has extradition treaties with only a small number of countries. Uh, professor, please, what is an extradition treaty? We want you to break it down a bit further so that the neutral average man on the street can understand. An extradition treaty is an agreement between two countries, country A and country B. So in that agreement, for instance, country A would say to country B, if somebody commits a crime in country A and runs to you, country B, the authorities of country B should apprehend such a person and send them back to us, country A, to face the law. That is what they call extradition. So such a person is to be extradited from country B back to country A to face the law. Same goes to country A vice versa so that is the kind of agreement that we call the extradition treaty so if i were to be a criminal and i've committed crime in my country the last country on my mind to relocate to would be a country that has extradition treaties with plenty other countries i would prefer to go to a country that has extradition with very very few countries and United Arab Emirates is such a country. The extradition treaties they have is with very few countries. For example, the UAE does not have an extradition treaty with the United States of America. So that is why many, many criminals all over the world have seen Dubai as a very safe haven. They run there from their countries to hide. A lot of Ponzi scheme CEOs, after committing crimes in their countries, they run to Dubai to hide. And the non-existence of MLM regulation in Dubai means that if you are a criminal living in Dubai, so long as you don't target UAE locals, you are free to scam anyone from anywhere in the world. Okay, for instance, if you walk down the streets of Dubai, with a bottle of beer in your hands. They'll throw you in jail, but you can steal hundreds of millions of dollars through an MLM Ponzi scheme, and you would be safe, so long as you did not scam the locals in the United Arab Emirates. Okay? If you commit a crime, eh, and you flee your country for Dubai, 
Other countries know that they cannot pursue the matter. And these scammers, they know it. And that's why they go to Dubai. And this is why when I'm doing due diligence with make money online opportunities, the moment I find out that that particular make money online opportunity has any type of affiliation with Dubai, I consider it a very big red flag. So are you saying that if two countries don't have extradition treaty, it is totally impossible for a criminal to be extradited from one country to another simply because there is no extradition treaty. That criminal can go and display their ill-gotten wealth publicly, showing off, and still do it with impunity because there's no extradition treaty. They will just go scot-free. Well, that Dubai is a safe haven for such fraudsters does not mean that such fraudsters should put up their business and exhibit extravagance on social media every day, calling the attention of the whole world on themselves, displaying wealth that they cannot defend. I mean, if you do that as a criminal, then you would be the scapegoat. There would be special extradition for you because you are calling the attention of the whole world to your enormous wealth by doing social media show-off. I mean, you would just be a scapegoat. The fact that a man has never been violent towards anybody does not mean you should keep stepping on his toes and, you know, disrespecting him over and over again. Such a man could make you an exception. Wow, this is quite eye-opening. Let's talk about the matter of Nigeria. Why do Ponzi schemes always like to come and operate in Nigeria after launching wherever they were launched? This is a matter that I find really disgusting. Well, I think this is owing to the fact that Nigeria is the most populous country in the whole of Africa. I mean, 2020 census puts Nigeria's population at 206 million. That is massive. That means that if Nigeria patronizes your business, you are going to sell out. And uh, past events show that uh, when Ponzi schemes come to Nigeria, I mean, the Ponzi scheme CEOs make a lot of money because Nigerians patronize Ponzi schemes a lot. And that is owing to the high unemployment rate and the poor economic state of the country. When you try to make a legitimate living through legitimate businesses, the economy strangulates your business. So a lot of people are looking in the direction of getting rich quick with all these Ponzi schemes. You see a company says that uh, they are from China, Russia or any part of the world, but they are coming to Nigeria to come and promote their business. And when you check the Alexa ranking of such a website that is allegedly from maybe Russia or China, you will find out that the highest number of traffic they get on that website is coming from either Nigeria or the Philippines. That's to tell you that these two countries patronize Ponzi schemes a lot as a result of the harsh economic weather in that country. So it is perplexing and Nigerians should be on the lookout because these Ponzi scheme operators are targeting the Nigerian market a lot. And, you know, there's a need for Nigerians to be at alert and do more due diligence so that they will be able to be spotting these scams and nipping them in the bud. So what is the government of Nigeria and its people? What are they doing to make sure that they don't fall for these Ponzi schemes now that you have established that Nigeria is a target market? Well, the government, through the Securities and Exchange Commission, every now and then publishes uh, the names of potential Ponzi scheme operators within the country on their website. And also, they also go to shut them down and seal their offices from time to time. 
that is what the federal government is doing as for the citizens this youtube channel you're watching is always helping with due diligence with make money online opportunities even though the operator is not an investment advisor but this helps you in your due diligence where before you invest or interact with any of these websites but i think that the bulk of the job is with the nigerians themselves they need to kill that get rich quick mentality and realize that investment is a marathon and not a sprint. You cannot invest today and become wealthy tomorrow, and you cannot build sustainable wealth from Ponzi schemes. Wow, this is really entertaining and enlightening. Thanks, Prof. I really learned a lot from you today, and I know that the viewers at home have learned a lot, a lot today. Thank you for coming on the show. And to all my viewers at home, this is the end of the program for today. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Turn on the bell notification icon because there is more from where this came. Till I see you in the next one, it is bye for now.